Good day guys, Austin here, and in this one today, we're playing Dead or Alive Dimensions. We're playing this on the Citra emulator, in other words, this is the Nintendo 3DS running on our PCs. This is awesome news. This has been going for some time, however, in the past, this game was problematic for me. From what I'm seeing with recent tests, certain games are becoming playable, and they are becoming playable to a degree where not only are they well, just as good as the original 3DS games, but now we are enhancing them with added graphics. Now at the moment I've got this set on stock, and as you can see it's a pretty ugly game running stock, but for now I want to make sure this is compatible and stable. So bottom right hand corner over here we have got speed running 100% at 100%, 30 frames per second game, and it is running at 30 frames per second. Let's get into the game, see if we can get it to run, and then if we can, let's see how far we can push this. Now in the description down below is a list of my systems specifications yeah I am running a 1080 but don't I mean, let that sway you too much because this is mostly CPU dependent my CPU is now a dinosaur the only reason why I haven't upgraded it is because nowadays if I upgrade I've got to upgrade the RAM I've got to upgrade everything the motherboard and the price and all that kind of stuff right now is crazy so I'm waiting out waiting for the market to stabilize a little bit unless I get some kind of windfall coming in and at the moment I'm running it as I can which is what I've got right now anyway enough of that let's get into a game to be honest I've never got this far on this emulator with this game it used to crash as soon as I got past the title screen so this is a new little thing let's get into a fight and then we'll start heightening the graphical experience if we can so far it seems stable menu screens and all that kind of stuff I'm not too fussed about the uh, speed because even on normal actual 3DS's this kind of stuff it's a bit jittery when you go through menus because of the way it renders and loads things up but for now let's get into it Kasumi I love that they're alive I love this from the originals and they've still got the breast animations going on as well haven't they awesome so this is quite an old game now but like I said it was problematic on this emulator in the past okay so speed wise we're not 100% we're running at 70% get down okay so we're not full speed let's while we're running this see if we can change any settings see if we can pump anything up graphics wise everything is stock so I can't see us getting much Oh, squeezing much performance out of this one to be honest guys general tab doesn't make any difference whatsoever everything should be left as stock system wise um, yeah makes no difference whatsoever so just your personal details uh, input wise I am running this through my pad so yeah it's not gonna make any hindrance on the system obviously it just makes it more stable in the game for me to control it it looks like when I'm in this area the game is running much smoother it must be due to the background when we got a lot of open space when we were on that top level a second ago let's go into graphics let's push this up let's go 720 just for the sake of it see if it changes the speed whatsoever I have no choice but to fight get ready okay so there you go when the um, well when you can see into the background Go on, drop down. So now it should speed up because it's not rendering as much as the background. There we go, full speed. So it's just the way the game's been rendered as to what kind of performance we're getting. Interesting. So the game is running pretty. It looks beautiful as well, doesn't it? Kazumi, you may be a <laughs> computer generated graphic, but you are beautiful. So again, in this environment, it's a little bit better. A lot of stuff is being rendered, so yeah. We are seeing some slowdowns at time, but not as bad as the outside maps. Or outside ring, should I say. That's great then. So let's see if we can push this even further then. So this one should hamper because we're outside again. I say that and look, full speed again. Well, near enough. 
Oh my god. This is so confusing. What is it? It, it looks like certain environments do not play easy with this emulator. Hmm. Hit and miss. Right, let's turn up the graphics. Let's go 4K just for the sake of it. Does that make any difference? No, same speeds again. So it looks like no difference is made in terms of performance when we change the resolution on this. So it is literally the CPU which is bottlenecking and holding this back. Well, I wouldn't say the CPU, more or less the code of the game I would say, or compatibility with this. As the official build of Citra, I believe only still uses one core. Um, it's probably that that's holding this back right now. It looks beautiful though, doesn't it? 4K with this game on a 3DS game. It's like PS3 standard. Boom, get down. Right, let's see if there's anything else we can tinker with. Uh, I think the only other thing that we've got left is audio. Sometimes with some games, when you turn down the audio, or turn it off, should I say, you can see some speed up. Let's just check. So obviously now we've got no sound. But it's making no difference on the game. It's still performing exactly the same as it was. So let's turn the sound on, because I hate having no sound at all. Configure, audio... Um, let's see what's going on here. Ooh, what's all this about? Is that because... Interesting. I've now gone full speed again. And I'm also awesome at this game. Lee, I should go pro. Dead or Alive Legends. Well, let's go into another map then and see if that me changing that audio has changed the way it's performing. I've got no idea why that's happened. Sometimes turning the sound off gets rid of lag in some games, but it's very marginable. Well, I would say it's faster, but I wouldn't say... It's full speed, not by any means, you can see. We're in at 70%. But it's sped things up. Crazy. Why does nothing make sense in this emulator anymore? Hmm. Configure. Audio. Auto. Yeah. Maybe it's just the way the map's rendered. Maybe it's me enabling it, freeing up some RAM or something random in the emulator. I've got no idea. I really haven't got any idea when it comes to this one. This one's got me stumped. Put in the comments down below what you think is making this run faster, slower. Obviously, the environments have got a hell of a lot to play with it. But the sound thing was a bit of a red herring for me. Smart ass. Disabling it normally gives me slight increase. Enabling it and changing it to SD2, wherever it is, has changed it a hell of a lot. Right, right, let's kick this guy's ass. Yeehaw, cowboy. Boom. So yeah, that is that to be honest. There's nothing else to test on here. It is now booting, it is now loading, we have got gameplay going on, but as you can see, it's unstable depending on what kind of environment you're getting. Again, put in the comments down below what you think is making this happen either way, guys. This is very interesting for me, this one. I like it, but by God, does it look beautiful, though. I hope to get this working to the maximum. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure as always. Again, let me know if you want me to test any other games, any other emulators, or if you'd like me to do anything in particular. Not including, stop making videos. <laughs> but most of all, most of all, you have a good day. Laters!